under tropical storm warnings currently, but the hurricane warnings have been able to expire and the tornado watch has been able to expire. I mean, the storm is booking it at 20 miles an hour. It's crossed over and is now on its way through Georgia. Maximum sustained winds inside Idalia are sitting at 85 miles an hour. It is a category one hurricane and you can still see banding moving off the Gulf of Mexico and through our area, though just as Futurecast had expected that intensity will continue to come down. Now the forecast thinking just so that we're all on the same page is that it will stay a tropical system, stay a hurricane through this evening, crossing from Georgia to South Carolina and the low country, and then from Hilton Head up toward the Outer Banks, but kind of continue working off the shoreline as a tropical storm. And even though some of the models the last couple of days were hinting that it would recurve, a lot of people are like, update us on that. We saw the computer models. Look at the forecast from the Hurricane Center. It kind of works out toward Bermuda as a tropical storm and then kind of left curves and moves up into the North Atlantic. So we're not expecting this to come back and get us on the other coastline. Wouldn't that have just been a pain? All right, let's look at the current storm surge levels. We were over seven feet here in Cedar Key. I mean, I'm 5'8". I'm not that tall, but you can imagine what seven feet of water is. It's still at four feet above normal, okay? So we're still talking about a significant surge with the storm now in Georgia. But that wind around is still piling water up. It's just not as intense as it was earlier. And we still have a significant storm surge event in the Tampa Bay area. Three and a half feet on the eastern side of Tampa Bay and Old Tampa through downtown really floods. I mean, really floods on a normal king tide day. So this is a big problem for them. Meanwhile, back here at home, we're just watching kind of lessening intense showers and thunder showers on our first warning live Doppler radar. Let me take you here to Lake County where heavy rains and even a few flashes of lightning are showing up from Astatula crossing the turnpike uh, down toward Bay Lake uh, and Groveland, Claremont, Ferndale, watching these rains work on through. If you're out around Citrus Ridge, Champions Gate or uh, back over towards, say, Walt Disney World, Windermere, Gotha, Bay Hill, watching some heavy rain rain moving your direction shortly. Good steady rains around Lake Hart, Lake Mary Jane and Narcoosie. Uh, first good downpour of the day working through Palm Bay, down through Barefoot Bay, Grant, Valkaria and Miko. A little bit of rainfall. It's a good tropical downpour though through North Brevard County and up into Volusia and Flagler counties. By the way, Marion County had that tornado warning earlier. You were the first to drop out of the tornado watch, which is certainly great news. Now just a couple of gusty showers moving on through and our weather will continue to improve. Meteorologist Kellyanne Class with that part of the